Good. Woo. Are we in here? Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. You know what? I'm just realizing that I cannot see my comments on here. Can you guys just comment for me and let me know who's here and where you're from just in the live chat just to see if I've got this on here. I'm doing this from my desktop today. So and you guys know I don't do lives very often and I should do more of them. Shouldn't I? Should I? Give me a little thumbs up if I should. So I'm still not seeing anybody in the chat. Um, always the fun things about going live, isn't it? All right, well, I'm going to, oh, maybe I have to sign into chat. Do I have to sign in? I'm sorry, you guys. No, nope, that didn't work either. Well, anyway, welcome, hello, <laughs> good morning. <laughs> I was playing this morning doing my warm up and I did a little a Lupin card and I just wanted to share with you guys this one. It's going to be fairly quick this morning, but I'm going to use the Strathmore watercolor cards and you can get these just off of Amazon and they, I think they come in packs of 10, 50, 100. I usually get the hundreds and they've changed the texture a little bit on these. They're not quite as rough. This is an older card and this is the newer card. It's a little smoother. So I haven't tried it on the new card yet. So we'll see um, how that goes. Let me give it a shot here. Um, and I'm going to be using for this one some Derwent, Derwent Ink Tense pencils for this. So it's technically, it's, uh, it's like watercolor pencils, but these ones will actually dry uh, permanent. So you, once they're dry, you can't re-wet them. And I should make sure that you guys can hear me okay too. You know what I'm gonna do really quickly, if you can bear with me here, I'm going to pop on here on another, open up another window just to see if I can see the live on here. And it looks like I can. Let's see here. I'll mute myself there. And now I can see the chat, you guys. So if anybody's there, just give me a little, a little nod. Let me know that you're here watching me. And I'm not talking to myself this morning. So it's going to be a beautiful day out. It is uh, going to be 60 something today and the sun is shining. Woohoo. So let's make a card for mom. Mother's Day is coming up really soon. So these are so easy to do that. Um, I could make lots of these <laughs> really quick. I just put hand lotion on too. So I'm hoping I don't get stuff all over this. So I'm going to fold this in half. And then I, my Derwent pencils, I'm going to be using a bunch of different colors here. This one's deep rose. I might try some fuchsia. Let's do fuchsia. Do some fuchsia. So I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm just going to basically scribble in the shape of Lupin. And I can tell a big difference between the texture on this one and the other one for sure. He's getting a little bigger and a little bigger. Does that look like a Lupin? It's pretty good. And let's try a different color. I'm going to try some mauve for the second one. That one you can see a little bit better. And I can't even explain how I'm really doing this. I'm just scribbling these little puffy shapes. And lupins usually are a little bit skinnier at the top and a little bit wider as they come down on the bottom. Make that one a little taller. And then see what else I have here. The colors. Thistle. I don't know what thistle looks like. Let's check out thistle. It's just three different shades of different purples. That's all I'm trying to get in here. And sometimes the tops of the lupins are actually a little bit green. 
and white where they're first starting to bloom out there at the top. Let's see, do I want one more? If you guys are there, say good morning. Let me know that you're here. I don't do lives often, and that's usually because I've got other folks that work from home, and a son in college is usually taking Zoom calls in the other room, so I forewarned them all that I'm going live this morning. And we did that challenge last week. If you are, are just new here um, and you didn't get a chance to see the challenge, we did a, a seven-day flower challenge for the month of April. Um, and so if you don't want to do Lupin cards for your mom, you could go back in and check out some of the other videos that we did. There's a daisy and a comb flower, my rose, which I had a really hard time with. And I'm trying to think of the other ones, violet and a lilac, which I really liked, a lilac in a glass jar. Hey, Jessica. Good morning from Texas. How's the weather in Texas this morning? Good. Jessica had a heck of a time there. They uh, had that winter storm and she didn't have, what did you have, not power for like two weeks or something like that? It was crazy. So I'm using the green. This is spring green and I'm just going to do some greenery in here around the sides. You could maybe even do a little stem in there. You don't really see much of it because it's mostly just flowers. And then I'm going to do, I think they have like these little star shaped type leaves in here just do a few of them great thing about the pencils is you could just scribble scribble away <laughs> there's not much to it and you can see how fast i did this great warm-up you guys so is that, that's pretty centered i might stick another flower over here or maybe some taller grass let's put one more flower in there she said, oh, just spring is there, huh? Yeah, it's 60 degrees here today. It's going to be. And the water is so calm out there. Hey, if anybody wants to be my neighbor, they're uh, selling a house right down the road. It's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> they just listed it. There, I think that one's good. I could probably put a in behind here if I wanted to. But, you know, this is where you start just kind of having fun and going for it. So with the ink tense pencils, I'm just going to use, I have a little uh, rigger brush. This is from Zen Art. I've been using these brushes now for a couple of weeks. Really like them. I'm going to add just a little bit of water to it. And, and then I'm going to add, watch this, ready? If you haven't used colored pencils before, watercolor pencils, these are so fun. So now I'm just adding some water again, using just that little circular motion almost like if I was making little circular clouds and a little bit more water to it. So who else do we have here this morning? Leave a comment in there. If you guys know how to do the chat window, open it up on the right hand side and just let us know where you're coming in from. And say, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Forgot to tell people that I was uh, going live. That's my mom. <laughs> I'll call her back, I promise. Here I am doing a mother. Okay, so now we're going to add some water to this one. I can't remember what color this one was. But you can definitely see there's a nice difference. And I don't want to add too much water because I don't want this to be too wet. I might get sheet of up. Uh, try that one more time. See, lives. <laughs> Fun stuff, huh? She'll probably call me again, so just heads up. All right, and then another one here. Ooh, this one's pretty. So you see how easy that is? I mean, and it's less, um, or it's not as quite as hard as if you were to try to paint this in with actual paint. And plus, you give it gives you some nice. Um, little details in there. So I'm just softening those. And you can see how bright these are. Now, if you have watercolor pencils, you can use those. If you don't have any pencils at all, just use uh, watercolor. I think that one's my favorite color. 
So there we have that. Thanks, Jess. You like the flowers. <laughs> and then I'll add a little bit of water to the green stem. Again, just, fo just following it, adding just a little. You can see as I touch it, I thicken those lines up. And I don't need to cover up all of it either. And then down here, I think I'll just wet this and just blend that a little bit. What do you guys think so far? Fast and easy, right? And then another nice thing about the ink tents pencils, let's see if I can do it here. Um, if this is still wet enough, I can go back in with the pencil and if this is still wet, which it isn't, let's dip this little thing in water and see what we can get. There we go. So if it's still wet, you can add some more darker details in there if you want. You guys know how I tend to get a little heavy handed with um, darker colors. Sometimes I just like that light and dark value with watercolor. Some people go really, really light with watercolor, but that's just my style. But you do whatever you like. So there we have a little simple card. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? I can even put in some darker shades in here. I only use one color green. This is light olive. So again, I can go in a little bit darker if I want. Let's do a couple more of those little leaves. And maybe add a little bit more water. Just to soften it a little bit more. Okay, there we have it. A really simple little looping card for mom. And I'm probably gonna mail this one out to her. Hopefully she's not watching, so she doesn't know it's coming. <laughs> Do you guys have any questions? Oh, thank you. Hi, Nina. Uh, Jess, is there a difference between ink tents and watercolor pencils? Yes, the ink tents pencil, they, they work basically the same, um, but the ink tents pencils, once they're dry, they're, they're permanent. So you can't reactivate them once they dry. Well, that's the big difference between the two. I do have watercolor pencils as well, but I actually like the Inktense pencils. Um, really bright and vibrant. Um, watercolor pencils, you know, some of them are still really pretty too. But I think this one came in a kit of, I want to say it was over, over, I think 72 of them. I'm trying to think, this is what, this is what they all look like. All the little colors. There's quite a few that came in the kit. So... All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. A quick little one. Um, thanks for going live with me. It's always a challenge <laughs> for me to do lives, but, but really fun. And uh, I will see you guys hopefully next Tuesday for another live. And again, don't forget to check out the watercolor uh, flowers that we did last week. Go ahead and check that out. Even though the challenge is over, um, it's okay. You can pop in there and do those anytime you want. And feel free to tag me on Instagram over there at hashtag Kelly Chassie underscore fine art. All right. Well, I am going to sign off for now. Thank you. I'm going to sign off for now. Thank you.